normally in a rice uh, crop like this there are thousands of uh, insects spiders that live in this environment a lot of them depend on some other food uh, that might be in the flowers like this positive flowers they tend to have a lot of nectar and uh, you will find that a lot of bees uh, butterflies and many other animals that that feed on the nectar come to these uh, flowers so you see in this bun here we deliberately populated the area with flowers that will provide resources resources such as nectar for parasites that will come to feed on this nectar and then and then go back to the field and attack the the pests in such a way the pests are kept under control however when farmers spray pesticides a lot of this beneficial insects like parasites and spiders die and as a result and make this field vulnerable vulnerable in the sense that they don't have the immune system or the, the natural enemies that protect them so if a, if brown hoppers come to this field where where the uh, natural enemies have died they tend to multiply very quickly because there is no more control and that is why we get outbreaks outbreaks occur when it, when insects multiply exponentially and the exponential growth of insects uh, make insects become uh, outbreaks and causing large area damages this is now occurring in many countries uh, China Vietnam Thailand and a lot of these countries are in areas they occur in areas where a lot of pesticides have been used each of these groups of plant hoppers have different susceptibility to insecticides for example we found that in Davao where because the insecticide is less used there uh, most of these plant hoppers are very susceptible to insecticides they 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 uh, they die when when a small amount is sprayed in the field where else um, in uh, places like uh, Erie where there is some insecticide use they are resistant in other words you take two more to kill a same insect now this thing we call insecticide resistance is developing in many areas the Philippines is, is a very low resistance developing but in China and uh, Vietnam and Thailand you find that insecticide resistance has developed 1000 times so like in China it is more than 1000 times uh, that means that means in those countries they use so much insecticide that all the hoppers there are completely immune to the to the insecticides and that means farmers will have to use more and that creates a, need, a new problem so we we use this lab to study then those uh, mechanisms of those resistance development and and also to look at which are the insecticides that are more uh, durable that can be used for a longer period so what we're trying to do is to uh, encourage farmers not to destroy their buns and and let the buns uh, have some flowers that provide the resources normally what farmers do is they tend to apply herbicides on the bun because they want to make the field clean that kind of practice is probably counterproductive as it it will not provide any more resource both in terms of uh, food as well as hiding places for the natural enemies so the best thing for farmers to do is actually to populate uh, they are encouraging farmers to populate these buns and non rice areas around their fields with flowers that will provide the resources and bring back the natural enemies uh, that will protect their fields but at the same time they also need to, to stop the spraying especially in the early crop stages where pests is very low but natural enemies are very high but a spray during that time will completely disrupt the synchrony of the pests and natural enemies 
which will cause the 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 imbalance and and outbreaks.